ham, potatoes, and eggs. That's it. Qualify good. Qualify good. No issues. So we're gonna have a steak. All right, it's qualifying morning for the uh, 2022 San Felipe 250. Uh, we've had a great week down here so far. Lots of pre-running, uh, four or five days of pre-running so far in. Doesn't mean uh, we're gonna quit just because it's qualifying. Uh, had a lot of fun. Got to test the truck and uh, you know, big hats off to uh, Derek, Cody, and, and all our partners that helped get that truck turned around in two weeks. Uh, it was basically a full and complete uh, tear down, prep, and uh, rebuild. And, uh, looking forward to seeing what we have out here. Feeling really confident in our notes. Uh, really enjoying having uh, Mike in the right seat navigating and taking notes for me. And uh, I think we're going to make a really good team. Uh, we've got some special surprise. We got Liam and uh, Lisa yeah. came down. Liam's first Baja race. So uh, hopefully we can uh, give him something to go home and tell all his preschool friends about. But let's yeah. go inside, have some breakfast, and get ready to go qualify. Did you slap your mom across the face when you were sleeping? Like an open palm? Oh. It hurt so bad. I was like, oh. Yes! That's exactly what I thought about. I was like, oh my god, I just got hurt from the rock. Yeah. Really you really talk to you. Weekend. Do whatever you want. You want to see how things change? All the numbers are going to change. Uh, see? They're going up and down the mountains. What are you going to have? You got to have breakfast. Yeah, we're going to have to go a long day, so we got to eat some food. You don't want what? No, regular steak. Oh. Yep, it's right there. Qualifying's done. Uh, sounds like uh, P2 and qualifying, so pretty excited about that. Not wasn't really quite sure what to expect after our uh, practice lap. Truck um, course was just super soft, and lots of silt, so it uh, apparently you know really liked the all-wheel drive. And um, yeah, here we are. We've got Bryce Bryce in front of us. We get to chase him. He's got a lot of experience down here, a lot of wins down here. So if we can uh, keep him in our sights, we'll be right on pace. We've got a couple McMillans behind us, and uh, all we got to do is stay in line, go down the road, 280 miles of San Felipe. Let's go do it.
Pro 20. Pre race jitters. Gotta do something. All right, race morning, we're just about to leave the house, head down to uh, staging and get ready to start our uh, 2022 San Felipe 250. Uh, pretty excited, we're starting second on the line. We'll let Bryce go clear all the crazies out on the course and uh, we'll follow up behind him and uh, just apply on tracking him all day, staying in his dust and uh, you know, seeing where it is. There's 280 miles of really, really rough desert out there. Lots of rocks, uh, lots of different terrain. It's super still, super. it's gonna be super warm today and uh, yeah, this is one of the toughest races of the year, even though it's one of the shortest races. That just means everyone's gonna be hammered down uh, the entire time. And yeah, I think we're in good shape for, you know, really happy with the notes Mike and I have. Uh, we spent a week down here pre-running, never missed a day, super excited about that. And uh, here it is. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got and how we stack up. Well, it registered when we turned it on. It, it the oil pressure moved. It just didn't go above one pound. And when we came in, we still had 20, 30 pounds. And when we stopped to get oil, we had uh, about 20 pounds at 5,000. Hey Mike, could it be a pressure line? Just loose and not build up the pressure. God, why? Why do we have to stop here? Thank you. 
I mean, look at now. It's, I mean, we are blown up. It's been cooking for a while, huh? Yeah. Um, what was your oil pressure level in the truck? I'm gonna drop this middle skid plate so I can see the motor sure, better. Uh, you know, we were basically just settling into the race, and uh, we uh, we had a pretty decent pace. Uh, we got passed by Luke, but Luke was charging pretty hard, and then our game plan was to kind of settle into the race and see uh, see where we were at about the halfway point. Um, and then uh, we started getting uh, an oil uh, low oil pressure um, warning. And uh, so we're trying to nurse it into the pit here. And uh, once we uh, once we came to a stop, the engine stopped. And now uh, now she don't really she doesn't like to run. And uh, we basically have no oil pressure, not even one psi. So we're just trying to see what's going on here. And uh, sounds like we're uh, pretty much done. Yeah. So that's about. Well, as you can tell, unfortunately, that I'm doing this interview with my suit on at the base of the uh, Grand San Matar Mountains. That we didn't have very, uh, not having very good luck. We got a low oil pressure warning. I don't know about 30, 40 miles ago. We had a pit crew here at the end. Uh, thought I'd swing in, try to dump some oil in it, and when we did that, the motor seized, and uh, here we are. So. Real unfortunate. Uh, we have very, very, very few motor failures, and uh, you know, hats off to the guys at Danzio. And we uh, probably tried to stretch it on miles and run hard. We were kind of right where we needed to be. Luke got by us, and which I was okay with because he was running a little harder pace. Let him go put some pressure on Bryce, which then it looked like Bryce ended up getting a flat on the lake bed, and uh, really would have jumbled up the race if we were able to keep going, but. You know, unfortunately, this is how it goes, and I don't know, I'm pretty bummed, pretty disappointed. And uh, I guess we got to regroup and and uh, look on the positives that we had down here in San Felipe and get ready for the 500. Silt doesn't taste good. <laughs> 